Coming to you live from the Black Goat 39 Studios, this is the Guru Talking Sports Podcast. Now here's your host, the Guru and Derek B. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Much too kind. Thank you. Will you please take your seats and clear the aisles. Hello, sports fans, and welcome. Welcome back to another edition of the Guru Talking Sports Podcast. I am your host, the guru of sports, and I also have my very special guest, my co-host with the co-most, Mr. Derek B. Derek, I got something for you right now. I'm going to play this for you right now. Derek, I want to say, I knew that you're a big Tupac fan, so I wanted to make sure we give you some Tupac. Say hello, Derek, Derek B. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, people? How are y'all out there in football land? All right. Now, like I told you guys, we got we got a really, really good podcast for you this week. And like I said, we want to introduce, like I said, again, our great co-host, with the Comos, Mr. Derek B. Derek B, welcome to the We got we got see that we got the applause for you too. We got applause for you too. We really appreciate you coming back. All now right, I do want bro, anything for you, big bro. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Now I'm sitting up here today in my uh Gail Sayers uh throwback jersey. And um, you know, like I said, we really don't want to we really hate to see talk about stuff like this, but from the top of the show, we got to mention the great Gail Sayers. Um, before I get into you know what we're talking about, like I said, you know this is coming up before opening arguments. That'll be the first thing on the docket. But like I said, we're going to remember Mister Gail Sayers, and I do have a clip from the really really good movie if you guys never watched it it used to come on like every single year during football time but i'm going to be playing a clip from uh brian's song which is really really good it's, it's about uh brian piccolo and gail sayers gail sayers was and uh ironically now ironically gail sayers wore number 41 or 40 and brian piccolo wore number 41 so they were the first teammates, I think, in NFL history to roommate together uh, because of segregation and everything, black and white. They, you know, it, it matched because they were really, really good friends. But like I said, we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. I want to say thank you, Derek B., once again for bringing, bringing the, the swag. And you laid the hammer down last week. Derek B went fourteen and two last week, y'all. Fourteen and two on these picks. What did you say that number was? Fourteen and two, man. Guru, Guru had them all right, but you know, it, <laughs> but you know the thing about it. <laughs> we told you, we told you, Eagle fan, that y'all wasn't gonna win. 
Y'all like, and tell you the truth, I might pick Cincinnati this week. I, Derek, I'm serious, Derek. I might pick Cincinnati this week. I, I have a feeling. The way that line looking the way. Oh, my gosh. Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow is the truth, though. Um, oh, you don't know? Oh, yeah, he is the truth. I got him on both my fantasy teams. All right, now, like like we were saying, now, let's talk about Gale Sears right quick and get this get this before we get into opening arguments. Now, Gale Sears was a 1965 Rookie of the Year, 39 touchdowns in his career, and well, I saw on on uh, Football Reference it said he scored 14 in his first uh, first season, rookie season. Gave him rookie of the year, but he had six touchdowns in one game, punt returns, uh, catches, uh, rushing touchdowns, kickoff returns. I mean, the guy was who was that? Dante Hall. He was Dante Hall. He was Devin Hester. Remember, yeah, Devin Hester. Uh, all. Exactly. He was just like a, a switchblade, Swiss, Swiss, Swiss Army, Army knife. Swiss Army knife. Yeah. yeah, and he was he was great. He was great. I mean, one of the he best. I never uh, seen him play. I never seen him play. Uh, and the thing is, like I said, uh, we pay tribute to Mr. Gale Sayers. I'm, like I said, if you can, uh, if you could see us now, I'm wearing a like I said a white Gale Sayers throwback jersey, and it has the. Uh, NFL patch on the shoulder, just like the ones they used to wear back. I think this was like the 50th anniversary for the NFL. Uh, you know, it, it, it really hurts my heart to see all these great players uh, moving on, passing on. But like I said, we had to give him his big props. And like I said, right now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play a clip from Brian's song. And this is courtesy of uh, YouTube. And we want to say, you know, I want you guys to listen to this right quick. I'd like to say a few words about a guy I know, a friend of mine. His name is Brian Piccolo. And he has the heart of a giant. And that rare form of courage which allows him to kid himself and his opponent. Catch him. He has a mental attitude which makes me proud to have a friend who spells out courage 24 hours a day, every day of his life. And you flatter me by giving me this award. But I say to you here now, Brian Piccolo is the man of courage who should receive the George S. Hallis Award. It's mine tonight. Brian Piccolo is tomorrow. Now that was Gail Sayers played by the great Billy D. Williams. And if you ever watched the movie, um, Brian Piccolo was played by James Kahn, uh, two great actors, and like I said, this is probably one of the greatest uh, football movies, and it's actually one of the greatest uh, courage movies I've ever, I mean, if you could just think of a movie that had a lot of stuff in it, um, you you can imagine what was going on in 1965, and the way things were, and you know, kind of like, they kind of like are today, but you know, not to... Not to go into it so much, but uh, Gale Sayers was a, a true champion, a true champion. And um, he never won a Super Bowl. I don't think they won an NFL championship while they played. But he was a great, great inspiration. Very quiet guy. And if you, like I said, if you watch the movie, you see that Brian Piccolo was a joker and Gale Sayers was a serious, quiet one. But like I said, after he uh, tore up his knee and they didn't have the great, you know, reconstructive surgeries that they do have today. Brian, modern I mean, technology. exactly, modern technology. Uh, Gail Sayers probably would have played a lot longer than seven years. You know, five of those years, what was you say, Derek? Five of those years of what? He was uh, all pro? Oh, man, I mean, just like some quick stuff I found, like, um, the 
guy, um, this, this, this man, I mean, he, he played seven years. Um, the last two of which he only played um, one season. He um, he was injured for the whole season in the preseason. And then um, last season he was injured. So he basically only played five years. But out of those five years, I mean, this dude, this dude was awesome. I mean, he said um, he had a, a set of league record with 22 scoring touchdowns, including six record tying one game he was he was always there like you said he was doing receiving punting you know jack all trades um his production through his first five years earning four pro bowl appearances five first team all pro selections wow he only played out of those seven years he only played five seasons that's five amazing all pro seasons amazing so, man and then he, and then, and then he, and then he got the comeback player of the year, and then turn around and, and, uh, and, and then the injury that left him, his knee in 1973 season, kept him out for the rest of his, his final two years. So, I mean, like I said, you know, you, you can do, you can do the, you know, do the research, look him up. You know, he was a Kansas Comet, went to Kansas City, uh, University of Kansas. I'm sorry, um, compiled 4,000 all-purpose yards over three seasons. You know, he was recognized consensus. Let me say that again, a consensus All-American. So, check him out. Exactly. Like exactly. And like I said, thank you, Derek, for all that information. Like I said, on the Guru Talking Sports podcast, we both have very, very good sports knowledge. And like I said, I appreciate your contribution to that. No problem, bro. Oh, man. It's just so sad because, like I said, when I found out, um, I was waking up and uh, one of my buddies texted me and told me, and um it's really sad. Okay, now we're going to move along. We're going to go get right into opening arguments. And uh, we've got, got a couple things to talk about before we get to these NFL picks of the week. Because picks of the week. That's right. Week, week. Because we're, we're, we're the best. We're the best at it. We're the best. Exactly. You don't have to go nowhere else. And all, remember, they're for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> entertainment purposes only. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bang the gavel because Kane Guru won't be here. Kane Guru oh. will be back on the knife, and he still hasn't talked to Derek or Derek B because no. he knows no Eagle fan is talking to us at, at this moment right now. No Eagle fans are talking to me right now. <laughs> they, no. They're hiding. They're hiding. Smoke screen. Holla. Wake up, Eagle fan. Bro. <laughs> All right, here we go. Opening arguments, and I'm banging the gavel. All right, opening arguments. All right, we uh, mentioned Gail Sayers at the top. And, um, oh, one thing we didn't get a chance to mention, and I want to go back and forth with you with this, Derek. Um, the Big Ten and the Pac-12 came back. They came back to play. And I think the one of these conferences is only going to have a seven-game schedule, and I think one of them is going to have an eight-game schedule. Okay. So Yeah, it's like seven – Seven game schedule and a ten game something something like that. Base, base, there's no room for error. Exactly. When it boils down to there's yeah. no room. I mean, you're you're out west. You play later games. You're already on the back end of everything. So basically, you know, it's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. And what I'm thinking is this: one loss and you're out. Now we know that yeah. you know that my boys, Ohio State. That's right. I represent Ohio State. And they're going to be out there. They're going to be prohibitive favorites to win that conference. And like I said, you know, if they lose one game, slip up maybe to Penn State or somebody like that, they could be out. I mean, yeah. it, it's no no room for error at all, you know. Watch out. We got a time to lower, boy, on the Maryland team. Now, Maryland, Maryland, I'm glad that Maryland's back, too. I'm, I'll be glad to see them. Um, I just wish I could have went to that Ohio State-Maryland game, but – uh, you know, due to the they COVID. Alabama's quarterback coach as the yeah. head coach, and they brought the uh, younger brother, too. Oh, two, yeah, I remember that. That's going to be good. Mm-hmm. Um, Other thing I want to mention on, uh, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on uh, college football because we got a whole lot of stuff we got to get to. Um, Kansas State did beat Oklahoma in Oklahoma. Now, Oklahoma was ranked, what, number three? I believe so. Was. I see, they lost, so now you can figure that their season is basically going to go by the wayside. 
you know, yeah, and see, now you should slot Ohio State in second behind, well, yeah, you could put Ohio State in second right now, but then again, Alabama and Clemson are still, you know, they're playing, Alabama won, they put, they beat up some, you got Clemson number one, well, yeah, Alabama beat up some cupcake today, and they beat them like 56, 75, or something to nothing, so, you know, I, 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 that's why I don't like really Alabama, I'm, uh, Ohio State or through and through. Anyway. I'm going to go Clemson, Ohio State. And then I don't even think Alabama's number three. I, I don't either. I don't even know who would be. But we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Time. Texas, Texas look good, though. Yeah, you know, they beat Texas Tech. All right. Um, that, was a, that was a rough one. Now, we did hear some news this week about a Hall of Famer coming back to coach some uh, football team. Down in Jackson State University, Derek, you want to tell me about this because I didn't even see, I I heard it, but I didn't really see any highlights. To it. Tell me about what on happened. Great, <laughs> oh god! But was actually provided by the coverage. Prime time has arrived at Jackson State. Oh yes, my god! Oh my Dion, god! Prime time Sanders is now the new head coach. Of Jackson State. Oh my gosh. The dude came rolling in only as only primetime can do. He went back to the Jerry Curl days. <laughs> he went back to the you know the the the, the, the jump shoot days. He oh my came gosh. rolling in the dude the dude rolled he didn't just roll onto the campus with a police escort. He rolled into the arena <laughs> oh with my the God. police escort. And hold up was led by the Jackson State marching band. Oh, oh my God. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. And then you got a police escort. I mean, and then you finally, finally you see the big old black SUV. Oh, my God. And then, and then you see a lady get out. And then you see oh, another guy get out. And then you see another. And then, and, then, and, then, and then finally, 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 you see somebody. I'm going to tell you right now, Dion looks short. He do. He looks real short. He do. He looks like, like, look like a little dude. But now, that's beside the point. My man get out. He got the Jackson State. He got the, he got the red, white, and blue. You know, he got the blue and the white on. You know, he represent. He, he, you know, he opened the inside of his, 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 uh, his suit. My man got the, he got all the, you know, he got the, he got the. Insignias, he got everything. Oh only prime time can do. Now, you know. Now, my question is this: How many games do you think that they're going to put on TV for him? Because we know that uh, HBCUs don't get that much television coverage, not unless it's Southern and uh, you know Gramlin, you know Southern University and Gramlin, you know the Bayou Classic. Put that off of regular TV, they put that on like ESPN three now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I, well, like I said, it would. I've been. It would be nice to see, you know, Jackson State on TV once in a while. Just, just because of Dion, yeah. I'm going to give them this year nothing. But next year, I'm going to say at least three. I'm going to say an early game. And I'm going to say uh, uh, a night game. And if they make, and of course, you know, if they make any kind of playoffs or anything like that, well, but I'm 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 gonna say t- at least two games, yeah. a day and a night game yeah. next year. All right, well, check this out. I want to tell you this now. W- my favorite, my favorite is Morgan State. I love Morgan State, and you know where Morgan State is located, right? Bad. That's it. That's it. I'm a Morgan bad. State guy. I love Morgan State, but that you know, actually, I could I should have went there. I should have went there. I, you know what? I messed around, and I, as soon as I got out of uh, out of high school, I went into the Navy. But like I said, I should have went to Morgan State. I I I, I love you, Bears. That's my that's my that school. Bears. That's my school. All right, let's move along. Um, now the Lakers and Denver are in game what five? Five now. Kick off pretty soon. Now they get ready to kick off pretty soon. Like I said, Denver oh, is down in three nice. three to one now. De- the usual spot, three to one, and like I heard somebody say the other day, I'm not counting Denver out until they are packing their bags and getting on that plane and going back to Denver. This scares me. I'm a Laker fan, but this scares me. I'm serious. I, you know how they came back twice. Do you think they got another comeback in them? As a Laker fan, 
Laker fan. <laughs> As a Laker fan, I feel your, notice the word, trepidation. I feel very anxious about this game, but I feel as though, even though I don't like the dude, I feel as though LeBron, he understands the gravity of this game. Now, I don't know the, I don't know the particulars, but the percentages, but whoever wins game five always wins out. The series. Okay, I got you. Now, Laker fans, I'm not saying, and this hurts me to say, I'm not saying we're going to lose, but there's a very, very good chance that these dudes have taken the big fish to quote Ice, tea, uh, ice Cube. I'm sorry, to quote Ice Cube. He took the big fish and put him in a little pond. Yeah, exactly. Right. Denver has, they, they've really boxed them in. And I want to, I pick, as much as I don't want to say it, I'm going with Denver. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. I'm going with, I'm going with the Lakers tonight. Hopefully they can close it out and get, get to uh, the, the other series winner between Miami and Boston. I'm not going to go too much into that because we go into these picks right after this. Miami's going to win, and uh, hopefully LeBron can beat his old team. All right. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, but I think LeBron can get it done this year. I really have faith in him, and believe me, I had I couldn't believe that Rondo and Howard has been playing the way they have. So I, yeah, it's Rondo. just shocking me, shocking me. Rondo, Rondo makes a difference. All right. We're ready. Derek, you ready? This is it. Let's go. Now it's time for Derek B. and Guru's Picks of the Week. That's right. Of the week. That's right. That's right. That's right. You remember last week, like I said, Derek was 14-2. and two. Excellent. 14. Excellent. Excellent. Along with the Guru's 16-0. and 0. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Guru, Guru's always right. All right. Now, all right. First game on the docket, Derek... It's going to be a tough game between Los Angeles Rams. They're flying back east to play the Buffalo Bills. Who do you got in this game? Mm. Mm. My gut want to say I'm trying to go with Josh and the Bills. But if they, you know anything about L.A., whenever they come back east, they yep. have Probably one of the best winning percentages. So I'm going to go with the Rams. I'm going with the Rams too because you know what happened last week. They flew all the way back home. They came back to Philly and they beat Philly. So we're going to go with the Los Angeles Rams. Okay, Vegas. Vegas will make a trip into New England. And I'm a Raider fan, but I don't feel good about this game because Belichick is still on that sideline. I'm going to go with New England in this game. Who you got? Mm. Oh, man. Dante Guru, I love you, nephew, but Twan, love you, bro. But going into New England, it's going to be an early game. Y'all coming west to east, we're going with the Patriots. Yeah, it's it's hard to pick. I, I hate to pick against my team, but like I said, Belichick yeah. – and Cam are there, and it's going to be tough. Game. It's going to be tough. Jet lag. Yeah. Washington versus Cleveland. Um, <laughs> tell you the truth, I'm really on the fence about this one. But to tell you the truth, I think if I, – I, I think – I really think that Cleveland could pull this game out. And they're at home, so I'm going to go with Cleveland. The only reason I'm going with Cleveland is because they're the home team. If it was at Washington football team stadium. <laughs> we have Washington football I'd team Washington stadium. Football team. But, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to go with Cleveland. They, but, I honestly, I, I think it's going to be like a three-point, seven-point game. Seven-point. All right. Yeah, keep an eye on that one. Yeah, I will. Definitely. Okay. Houston versus Pittsburgh. Uh, I know you don't like to say that word or that team that team from up north. I forgot we're gonna mention that we're gonna call them the team from up north. I got I got the team from up north 
because I'm like an Ohio State guy. I don't say that other state up there. So I I like them. Houston is in trouble. Not not unless Deshaun Watson throws for about like 600 yards. I'm going with uh, yeah. I'm going with them. We both got them right. Yeah, we're going with that team up here from the Ravens. All right. Like All right, San Francisco. Both these teams were injury hurt. Mm. Oh, man. I lost I lost Saquon Barkley in one of my fantasy leagues and I was I'm I'm two and oh, but uh I lost Saquon Barkley. The Giants don't look good at all. San Francisco is beat up too. They lost lost Bosa. They lost how many they lost every. They, they lost, lost like four their players. Their running back. Oh my their gosh. Backup running back. Their tight end was already hurt. Their backup tight end got hurt. Their wide receiver. Their second wide receiver. Oh is my gosh. <laughs> but you know what? I did pick up. On TV complaining. This, the soil sucks. Yeah. I did pick up uh, Wilson. Uh, I think it's Jeff Wilson or something like that. Running back. Um, um, because the other running back I had. Uh, 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 what is his name? Coleman. He's hurt. So I don't care. It doesn't matter if everybody's hurt on San Francisco. I'm still taking San Francisco. You got San Francisco? <sighs> Giants are terrible. I I'm think. Really, on, I'm really on the fence. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like Daniel Jones. I really do. Um, and I think they're going to do some big things, but. At the end of the day, I think I think San Francisco is going to pull this out. It's going to be another close one, probably like a field goal touchdown game. All right. Now, you know, we all, for all these games so far, we both had the same teams. Um, all right. And the next great one mind, is. Great minds take a look. Yeah, exactly. Always. Now, Cincinnati is going into Philadelphia. Uh, <laughs> I hate to say it, Philadelphia fan. I love you, Philadelphia fans, but. I like Joe Burrow. I'm going with I'm going with Cincinnati. I know it, it's crazy. I'm going with Cincinnati. Who you got, Derek? You know there was a time when there was a coach by the name of Marty Schottenheimer. Rest his soul. And let me tell you, this man, this man used to rally the troops. Yep. There's a certain quarterback that came out of LSU last year. It happens to be the starting quarterback, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, and let me just tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this this dude is a franchise quarterback. He is he is the truth. And I think you Eagles fans, are, if you were there in the stadium, you would be throwing snowballs you'd be throwing <laughs> because you're going to be very very mad because you're going to go off to a zero and three start. And if things go the way I think they're going to go, we're going to see Jalen Hurts in the second half. Exactly. If it's that bad, we're going to see him in the second quarter. Exactly. All right. So we both got Cincinnati. Caden Guru. I love him. <laughs> yeah. Caden ain't going to say nothing about this because he know that they're going to lose anyway. All right. <laughs> Tennis. This is a this is a mind boggling game here. Tennessee versus Minnesota. They got to give Dalvin Cook some more r- rushes. But to tell you the truth, I don't. I see Minnesota going to zero and three, and I actually picked them to win that division. And I'm I'm in trouble right now. Tennessee looks good. I mean, even though they you know didn't do too well last last week, but I, I got I got Tennessee. Who you got on that one? Well, for my name's sake, Derek Henry's going to run all over. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got both got Tennessee. All right, Chicago versus Atlanta. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Now, I, I want to ask you a question. I know we got to keep moving along, but I got to ask you a question. How in the world did five or six people look at a football going down the sideline and didn't jump on it? They thought that they – Oh, my God. That was like the stupidest play I've ever seen in my life. And the thing about it is that they knew that they could pick up the ball – the kicking team had to wait for the ball to go ten yards. You, know, I, you can get the ball. Oh as my soon gosh! As kick. You mean to tell me? I'll be, 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 that's awful. I can't. I can't pick Atlanta in this game. I got Chicago. You didn't. Oh, uh, you got Chicago. That's where we differ, my girl. Oh. 
bears suck. <laughs> the bears suck. I'm going with the Falcons. All right. I got you. Okay, this is an easy game. Uh, Jets versus Colts in Indianapolis. I got the Colts. I got the Colts. All right. All right, Carolina versus the Chargers. Chargers. Chargers? All right, I got Chargers too. We're going to move along because we uh we got a little yeah, got bit you. left. Um Tampa Bay versus Denver. They're going into Denver. I I see Brady having a good game up in the Mile High Stadium. I'm going with Tampa Bay. Process is moving along Tampa Bay. All right. I'm have a big day. All right. Detroit versus Arizona. Arizona is playing well. Kyler Murray's got him running. I've been telling y'all since exactly. week one, I'm riding this train, the Redbirds. Yeah, I me too, because like I said, DeAndre Hopkins got to get me some fantasy points tomorrow. Watch, I how, got, watch, watch, how, fish, watch how Mr. Larry Fitzgerald. I hope he watch. gets off. I hope they both get off. It's the Lions, watch. Exactly, well, you know, Detroit. Uh, what's the name? going to get fired probably by midseason. Patricia. Cowgirls. All right. Cowgirls. Dallas versus Seattle. That, the way the you go you go, you gonna go with Seattle or Dallas? Of course. All right. I'm going with Seattle. Seattle. Man. Okay. Lose. All right. I we both got trouble. Seattle because I, I honestly they got lucky on that last play in okay. against Atlanta. All right. Now this is going to be a good game. Hopefully, if they show up, New Orleans is at home versus Green Bay. Now Green Bay, I. I I have no problems with Green Bay. I like Green Bay. I think they're going to win this game. I ain't going against Aaron Rodgers. Not to, not this week. To quote, to quote my man, Stephen A., he's a bad man. Green Bay pack attack. All right. We both got Green Bay. All right. Here the big we one. Go. The Here big we one. Go. The Here big we one. Go. This is it. <laughs> how you, how you say it? I said, oh, this is it. Oh, this is it. Lisbon, I'm coming. It. <laughs> oh, I'm coming. Oh, oh, I'm coming to join you, honey. I'm coming to join you. This is it. This is it. <laughs> oh, my God. Kansas City versus Baltimore. Oh, my gosh. I I love Baltimore in this game. I love Baltimore. They're at home. That's Monday night, right? Monday night. We gonna have the jerseys tight. We gonna have the game plan right. We gonna run. We gonna pass. We gonna do all that was supposed to happen last year. Ooh, let's go! I'm going Baltimore all the way. All right. Go. Uh, we both are going to go different because I'm going to go with Kansas City. No, I'm just joking. What? I'm just joking. I'm going with Baltimore. I can't oh, go against bro. my hometown. Bro, we, we, <laughs> man, we, I'm, I'm about to terminate my contract. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, don't do that, man. Hey, oh, I'm, I'm serious. I'm going with Baltimore. I think that this is the time. They have to prove now. Lamar has to prove that he can no, do Lamar it. Lamar does not have to do anything. Lamar just has to play within himself. I think Lamar he can do it. Lamar doesn't have to show anything. Everybody already knows. They're just waiting to see. And um, all he has to do is just play within himself. What? If he gets to try to get outside of himself, that's where we go awry. All right. Play well, I got system, run the ball. I got J.K. Dobbins getting over a hundred yards, and I hopefully that Brown. Hollywood Brown can be catching something. And like I said, if they can get the tight end involved, Edwards, they get him involved. Andrews, I'm sorry, Andrews. I call him Edwards. uh, The uh, the, uh, the receiver out of Texas, that's who you need to watch out for. Yeah. Uh, I think it's DeVernay. I can't remember his name, but. Yeah, watch the dude, the rookie out of Texas, man. All right. Like I said, I mean, this this is going to be. Trust me, it, it, it's this gonna be a battle, dude. It's gonna be a battle. You really thought I was gonna go with Kansas City, didn't you? <laughs> no, I yeah, see. I had, yeah. I had, I had to get you. I had to get you on that. I, 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 can, I can understand why you would. I really can because everybody always hates on Baltimore. No, no, no. I, the Super Bowl. 
I remember when we went to the Super Bowl, we was in, we was in New Orleans playing a certain team from San Francisco. And I remember looking at the screen, and it was four, four sports casters. Boomer, size, and all, all these All of them, yeah. Up, and everything. San Francisco, San Francisco, yep, San Francisco. Yep, all yep. four. I know, and but... You know what happened afterwards? Everybody was like, oh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But you know what? I don't... I never... I never sleep on Baltimore because, like I said, even though I'm from Baltimore, a hometown, I still think that they're still one of the most solid teams in the NFL. Now, I got a question for you. The Thursday night game, you did really good on. You picked Miami. We both picked Miami, and we both won. All right, so Denver's going to play the Jets to start week four. Uh, Denver, we both got Denver, right? Both got Denver. Denver... Denver can beat them in New Jersey, San Francisco, Philadelphia. They can beat them anywhere. I I, I think they got them. All right. Mm. Who you got? Mm, they playing at, at the Jets? Yeah. They playing at the Jets Thursday night. All right. I'm going to ride with you. All right. Mm. Cool. I'm, All right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to ride with you on Denver. All right, so we basically picked the Ra- the Rams, New England, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, San Francisco, Cincinnati, Tennessee, uh, the Colts, the Chargers, Arizona, Seattle, Baltimore, and Denver for next week. So we all, that's it. We got them all. But like I said, we are, we are good. Like I said, Derek. Fourteen and two last week. Guru sixteen and zero. So you know, hey, we're we're good. I, I, hey, I got a perfect record. Guru never wrong. <laughs> hey, all right, we're, we're done. We're never. I know. Touchdown, no. Miami. Touchdown, Miami. Touchdown, Miami. No, you good. You good. Um, yeah, they got Ray Lewis and uh, A. Rod sitting in the booth together. Oh, they sitting in the booth. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. cool. All right, folks, that's it for uh, the program. But like I said. I'm going to give you all the social media stuff. You can follow us on YouTube. Follow us, the Guru Guru of Sports Show on YouTube. Facebook, Guru's Daily Shorts. IG, the Guru OS39. Gmail me at GuruDailyShorts at gmail.com. Twitter, Goaties at BlackGoat39. I'm at Goat39 on Twitter. Follow us on the formats for the podcast. Check out the podcast on Spreaker, Podchaser, Spotify, Deezer, Google Podcasts, Podcast Addicts, Cashbox, iHeartRadio, Podomatic, J-O Sovin, J-I-O-S-A-A-V-N. I I still can't figure that one out, but follow us on there. And the big one, Apple iTunes. Want to say thank you. Thank you, Derek B. Again, we got to get some big props out. Big props and shout outs to my man Appreciate Jeff it. Duarte, huh? Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate oh yeah, yeah. I'm, matter of fact, I'm gonna talk to you after I read all this stuff here. I got, I got to read all this stuff, all the, uh, all the cast members and crew and all that stuff. All right, big props to my man Jeff Duarte. Big cheese over at Cali Sports News. Big props to my man Damian Adams. The real deal with Damian Adams podcast. We always give him that props on the show, or because good people. Help out good people, and we appreciate you. All right, my four wise men, four guys that from the hip-hop community we want to say shout-outs to. Jeff Shepard, Reggie Reg, Happy Deal Original Pioneer, and Cool Kyle, the original star child. Credits go to Kaden Guru, executive producer, and board op. He's not here. And he's still hiding from us. Vinny V is our, <laughs> I know. Vinny V is our executive technical advisor. We appreciate you. Ray Guru, Ray Guru played the new music for us today, new drop, we appreciate, oh my man, appreciate you, Derek Guru is a co-host with the Comos, we appreciate you Derek Guru, Um, Dante Guru is our show advisor and he gives us all the information, this has been a Black Goat production for Black Goat Entertainment, and all, everything is copyrighted by us, and we are for us, we're all, this is our stuff, so we ain't stealing from nobody. But we do give props and credit to, uh, like I said, Brian Song. Brian Song, the movie, uh, we took the clip from YouTube, and we appreciate YouTube for letting us borrow the clip. Also, we're freeway close. We're always on. 
We are out of here, but I want to say before we leave, we appreciate you for listening. We appreciate you for tuning in and acting acting crazy with us like we usually do. Derek, I love you, brother, and I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here with me. Just remember, we got how many more weeks? Uh, about like 16, 17? Uh, no, we got like 27. 20, 27 more two. weeks? Oh, my God. We're going to be here forever. About, right? about two. But, well, hey, three. you know, it, this is fun, though, because, like I said, every time that we do this podcast, uh, say, like, maybe a couple minutes before we get on, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna lay it out, okay? Because me, me and Derek, we sit back and we talk. We we try to get our stuff together. And guess who pops up on our uh, house party? Uh, mom, mom guru, dad guru, and Dante guru. They always pop in. And all, and, all we get of dad guru is his eyeballs. Yeah, exactly. We I I, <laughs> I, t- I told him one time, smile so I can see you. <laughs> move the camera up. Yeah, move the camera up. We end up with like five people there. Oh we're my like, God. Right, we're talking. We're going through everything. I know, five and people. They, they all. Can't tell everybody. Get but it seems. The seem, don't it seem like every time we get ready to do the podcast, they always show up? You know what? We need to do the, the, the correct, appropriate thing. We're going to tell everybody 6 30. Yeah. Oh, we seven, can do that. Yeah, we can do okay. that. Oh, we don't, we don't, we don't lie. <laughs> Yeah, 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 hey, this hey. Not been provided by a certain or something. Thank you, have a good night. <laughs> you know what, we should we should get them on here and have them, like, talking during Man. the podcast. Man. Hey, it, that'll be Man, funny. I'm going to record everybody so y'all, y'all can hear it with the conversation. Exactly, the yeah. But like I said, hey, most of the time. You, love you, Dante. Love you, love all y'all. <laughs> love you, Kyle. But we usually have, you know, we, we usually get this stuff together and we want to oh, make sure God, that you right. guys are out here listening to us and enjoying it and having as much fun as we do. I really, like I said, I love my brother and I really appreciate, you know, everybody in his family helping out on the podcast. And this has been really a, a, a fun time doing this. And we'll be back next week. Like I said, I got something for you, Derek, because you are a Tupac fan. You're my man. I appreciate you. And we're going to take it away with some California love. Bye. California. We're going to do some California love. Cody, play the song. Come on, Cody. Stop playing, messing around. Play the song. Cody, Cody's trying to help me with the... Uh, Cody's trying to help me with the uh, board op. Trying to be a board op. Nah, Kane ain't here. All right, y'all. Have a great time. We'll talk to you soon. Guru and Derek B. will see you real soon. Later.